Welcome to another story time with Papa Mike. Let's read along with today's story. Today's story is Blossom Possum by Gina Newton and Kamina Neeland. Today's story is also dedicated to Cube. We hope you enjoy. Blossom Possum could not get to sleep. She rubbed her whiskers and climbed down to the forest floor. Suddenly, something fell on Blossom Possum's head. Ouch! She cried. The sky is falling. I must go tell the Prime Minister. She trotted off down the track, round the back of beyond and up the hill and past the black stump until she bumped into Rocky Cocky. Oh, where are you going to this fine morning, Blossom Possum? Asked Rocky Cocky. The sky is falling and I'm off to tell the Prime Minister, replied Blossom Possum. Oh, cut my beak blue. That's risky business if you're not a cockatoo. What? Oh, squawked Rocky Cocky. You need a bodyguard. They trotted and strutted off down the track, round the back of beyond and up the hill and past the black stump until they bumped into Joanna Goanna. Where are you off to, Blossom Possum and Rocky Cocky? Asked Joanna Goanna. The sky is falling and we're off to tell the Prime Minister, they explained. Well, I'll be a lizard's gizzard, cried Joanna Goanna. That could be dangerous. I have a first aid certificate. I'd better come along too. They trotted and strutted and marched off down the track, round the back of beyond, up the hill and past the black stump until they bumped into... Toey Joey. Where are you three going? demanded Toey Joey. The sky is falling and we're off to tell the Prime Minister, answered Blossom Possum, Rocky Cocky and Joanna Goanna. Well, zip my mother's pouch, exclaimed Toey Joey. I'm coming too, I'm not a kangaroo. They trotted and strutted and marched and bounced off down the track, round the back of beyond, up the hill and past the black stump until they bumped into Abacus Platypus. Pray tell, good friends, what is the reason for your urgent journey? Inquired Abacus Platypus. The sky is falling and we're off to tell the Prime Minister, answered Rocky Cocky, Joanna Goanna and Toey Joey. Before it's too late, added Blossom Possum. Well, that is serious business. You may need some clever calculations done. I'd best come along too, offered Abacus Platypus. They trotted and strutted and marched and bounced and shuffled off down the track, round the back of beyond, up the hill and past the black stump, until they bumped into Echo Gecko. Peace possum party people, party people. What's the trip for, trip for? Echoed Echo Gecko. The sky is falling and we're off to tell the Prime Minister, answered Blossom Possum, Rocky Cocky, Joanna Goanna, Toey Joey and Abacus Platypus. Cool quest, cool quest, Echo Gecko said. Let me join your emergency conga line, my bush buddies, bush buddies. They trotted and strutted and marched and bounced and shuffled and danced off down the track, round the back of beyond, up the hill and past the black stump until they bumped into By Jingo Dingo. Why the hurry? Blossom Possum, Rocky Cocky, Joanna Goanna, Toey Joey, Abacus Platypus and Echo Gecko. Asked by Jingo Dingo. The sky is falling and we're off to tell the Prime Minister, they replied. Yum, a moving feast, thought by Jingo Dingo. I know a secret underground passage to Parliament House, he said. Just follow me. Blossom Possum, Rocky Cocky, Joanna Goanna, Toey Joey, Abacus Platypus and Echo Gecko followed by Jingo Dingo past the black stump over the hill, along the creek and through the bush until they came to by Jingo Dingo's lair. Blossom Possum, Rocky Cocky, Joanna Goanna, Toey Joey, Abacus Platypus and Echo Gecko were about to step inside when... Stop! A voice yelled from beyond the termite mound. And up jumped I seen you emu with his minders. You butte bunyip and didgeridoo kangaroo. Don't fall for his treacherous trap. I seen you emu cried. By Jingo Dingo and his family are getting thinner and they plan to eat you all for their dinner. Then you butte bunyip stepped on By Jingo Dingo's tail and didgeridoo kangaroo boxed his ears 
while Blossom Possum, Rocky Cocky, Joanna Goanna, Toey Joey, Abacus Platypus and Echo Gecko ran away as fast as they could. They ran back through the bush, along the creek, over the hill, past the black stump, down another hill, around the back of beyond and up the track until they were safely home at Blossom Possum's tree. They were so relieved to have escaped from by Jingo Dingo and his hungry family that they forgot all about the sky falling. Until something fell on Blossom Possum's head. Ouch! Well, that's the end of our story. I hope you've had fun. Why not subscribe so we can read again another time?